Hi everyone, Bill or Dave here on site, and I want to talk about an application where we design or we pre-plan for our hot water heaters, our uh, well uh, pressurization tanks, where they're going to come into the house and how we install the finished product. So in this application, we've got our tankless hot water heater mounted on this wall. We put our half inch plywood up as our anchoring points. Uh, we then anchor that to the embedded furring strips in our Fox Block ICF wall. At this point now we can attach our tankless hot water heater anywhere we want on this location. Once we get this done, when the drywall crew comes in, they'll actually drywall right up to this point. So it looks like a nice finished product, but this gives us our anchoring point. Moving on down this wall, we've got two sleeves in. We, we will kind of err on the side of putting more sleeves in a, a foundation wall making sure that we don't have to go back and core drill any holes and we don't have to. So we've got two options for water line coming into the house. And that was really driven around the owner's final wishes for the grade is gonna come against the wall on the back side of the house. So whichever, and I believe we're actually gonna use the lower one. We will cap and fill this up. It'll be finished product. This is our water line coming in for our bulk pressurization tank. Again, we have our mounting points on the wall and we'll drywall behind it. As we slide down the wall, Sometimes we'll get asked about how do you handle your common seam. In any wall segment of an ICF wall, you've got four foot blocks. You don't always have a wall segment that is actually perfectly matched with the four foot segment. So you have to cut somewhere. What you want to do is have what's called a common seam. And you have from top to bottom, one common seam. We come off each corner to this point, and this is our common seam. You'll see where we use our, our orange foam spray glue to actually seal it. We'll come back prior to drywall, and we'll take a rasp and we cut this flat right down right before the drywall goes on. But this is an indication of a common seam along this foundation wall. Earlier we talked about uh, our, our uh, laundry room above, but this is a situation where after we had started or we just kind of broken ground on the project, the owner asked us if we could add a laundry room into the basement as, a, as an afterthought. With our custom homes, we are able to adapt and react to a very specific need of water, drainage, power, and dryer vent on the fly, and we're able to put the laundry room in the basement. If you have any questions about anything we just talked about, let us know. Thanks.